gotta be real with you, it is not easy to eat healthy, but there are ways to make eating healthier easier. You have to put time and thought into it. If it were easy, everybody would be walking around with cute little bikini bodies and cute little bumps. Obviously, that is not the case. If you hate traditional meal prepping, you have come to the right place, because so do I. Healthy eating does not have to suck, it can still taste good, and there are ways to make it so quick. Also, make sure that you are subscribed so that you can stay up to date on your Hope Scopes. This is not going to be a video of glamorous recipes. These are my grocery staples that I buy every single week. What about last week? We don't need to talk about that. That brownie mix. I haven't even used those. those. Twix ice cream bars. Those were delicious and besides the point. Oats. I buy the big colossal tub of oats because A, it's cheaper than buying the little individual packets and B, you actually get to control what ingredients are going into your oats. So you can put whatever want. My kitchen's gonna be destroyed by the end of this video, isn't it? Oh yeah. Sweet. Eggs. There's something really weird on this. I promise it's not something weird like the blood of my enemies. I think it's chocolate. I don't know. Egg yolks are not the enemy, despite what you think you may know. Sure, eating a whole egg with the yolk is a little bit higher in cholesterol, but trust me, someone eating the typical American diet has a lot more nasty sources of cholesterol than an egg yolk. Know what I'm saying? And I think plain egg whites are gross. Yes, I said it. What I tend to do is I'll do like one full egg and then like three egg whites and scramble them and put some sugar-free ketchup on those bad boys. <laughs> I usually have about two tubs of this Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt in my fridge at all times. It's relatively low in sugar, low in calorie, very high in protein, 18 grams per serving, and a very good source of probi probiotics. My favorite thing to do with this Greek yogurt is to take some berries and some granola and make a little parfait. Speaking of berries, they help keep my sweet tooth at bay. Notice I said at bay. That Twix still makes its way into the shopping cart every once in a while. Dang the strategy of the checkout lines. I also really like bananas and mangoes, but I have to pace myself with these because they both have a very high glycemic index, which means they spike your blood sugar and your insulin levels. Granola is awesome, but you do have to be careful because it tends to pack a lot of punch. And by punch, I mean calories. 250 calories for one little scoop of this stuff to be exact. This organic granola is a little bit healthier than other granolas. It only has nine grams of sugar, which is like a third of what most other granolas have. Organic milled cane sugar, organic molasses, Organic honey. It's better than high fructose corn syrup, but it's still sugar. I'm not done with that. This particular one also has seven grams of fat and five grams of protein. Now I'm done. Honestly, almond milk is kind of an acquired taste. It's literally water and pulverized almonds. Fun fact, most of us are actually, to some extent, lactose intolerant. Think about it, our bodies have a very reduced ability to break down lactose after infancy. Did you know you're supposed to be eating real food? By limiting your dairy intake, your gut will thank you. Dairy is weird if you really think about it. Like humans are the only creature that thinks it's okay to drink the milk of another species. I'm really making an effort to cut it out of my diet completely, but ice cream. I get the unsweetened vanilla almond milk because it's only 30 calories per serving. 30 calories? Did you say 30 calories? It's also very low in fat, very low in carbs, very low in protein, very low in everything because it's watered down nuts. Every fitness YouTuber and their dog has talked about the Kodiak protein power cakes, but did you know about the chocolate ones? You did? Oh. Well, it has been a game changer for me. It's literally chocolate flavored pancake mix with little mini chocolate chips in it. And it's only like one carb more than the original flavor. These little light string cheeses are the absolute perfect snack. The light ones are better than the original ones because they're part skim mozzarella. So they're much lower in fat. They're like half the calories. And there is seven grams of protein in one of these little guys. White cheese is better than yellow cheese, y'all. I love rice cakes, particularly if you take some jelly and you take some fish. 
Jellyfish. No, peanut butter. It's like a low carb PB and J. Another thing I always make sure to pick up are some fresh veggies. A couple of my favorites are squashes and aspergases. I cook everything in coconut oil. Coconut oil is like the egg whites that we talked about earlier. It helps raise your good cholesterol and lower your bad cholesterol. I get it in the spray form and also in the colossal Costco tub that will last you five years. I've tried the ground turkey thing. I can't. If it flies, if it swims, I don't believe that it should be mashed up and spiralized. I just get extra lean ground beef because the macros are almost identical to ground turkey and it tastes way better. Bacon is one of life's greatest pleasures, which is why I get reduced fat turkey bacon. Although I don't fully support turkey being mashed up and spiralized, I do support it being sliced into thick, juicy bacon strips. And it is much lower in fat than the real thing. Okay, if I buy a bunch of green stuff and put it in my fridge in hopes that it will turn into an actual meal later on in the week, it won't. It will sit in there until it wilts and dies and molds. Two of these for five bucks, like four meals right there. About six months ago, I had bread completely cut out from my diet and it was the best thing I ever did. The physical and mental results were astounding. I lost fat in places that I never thought I would. My mind was clear. I had so much energy. I wasn't an emotional roller coaster when I would get hungry. I could make an entire video on how beneficial it is to cut wheat out of your diet. I would love to get back to that point, but lately I have been buying Ezekiel bread, which is an organic, flourless whole grain bread. You can find this bread in the frozen bread section of most stores. It's only 80 calories for a pretty decent sized slice of bread. Don't you hate when you buy something that's the low calorie size and you open it and it's like leprechaun size? Low calorie gluten free? Come on! Tuna, the poor man's protein source. It has a shelf life of like 10 years though and that is my jam. I like to get the little pre-made instant packs of quinoa because I'm lazy. Do you like how I told you not to get the pre-made oatmeal, but it's okay to get the pre-made quinoas because it's cane freaking moi. There's a lot more fiber and protein in quinoa than there is in brown rice. And it also is much more satiating. These premier protein shakes are the only protein shake that I can drink that I don't feel completely taste like chemicals. It's only 160 calories for 30 grams of protein and like minuscule amounts of sugar, carbs, and fat. But the chocolate's the best. And of course, we have the Halo Top. Because what kind of fitness channel would this be if I wasn't promoting Halo Top? I don't even like Halo Top by itself that much. I like to use it to make shakes and smoothies. And I also like to put it on top of my protein chocolate cake. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know. I will see you guys in the next video. Leo, sit. Oats. I beg. I think the buy of this is going well already. If you guys know of a really good, keyword being good, dairy-free ice cream, what is happening? Let me know in the comments.